How's it going everyone, Kels Prime here, and today we're going to be looking at a number of things that will be coming with 2.5. Now, based on the trailer and what we've seen, it's kind of clear that what we'll be seeing is a merger of 2.5 and 2.6, and then we'll be probably waiting for an update for 3.0, which will be sometime released in June. That is my guess, and that is pretty much what's being tooted online as well. But there are a number of things in the trailer that pretty much indicate that 2.5 and 6 will be merged together on May the 11th. But we are actually getting a number of things which are really cool. For example, we're getting a world level adjustment that we've covered in previous videos. This will allow you to calibrate the power level of the monsters each world level up will be rewarded, for example, with either a purple matrix or an SSR matrix or other rewards that will help you along the way as you level up. It's a fantastic new feature. For the vets, it's just going to be a raining of rewards. But for those that are newbies and new to the game, it will stop them feeling like every time they level, they're hitting like a wet noodle and the enemies are actually getting harder and they're getting weaker and provide a much better experience as they're playing the game and progressing along. Now the raid has also been reworked. Now you can only play one raid, which will change every week. The reward for completing the raid can be received one time. Rewards will be increased. They removed the normal difficulty and added a trial difficulty. Now what that trial difficulty is, I don't know if that's actually gonna reward anything, but unless these rewards are gonna gargantuanly increase I, i'm expecting them to provide more than the free combined removing content is never a good thing doing the free raids is not that long doing the free raids is not that difficult but what this does do is allow you to do the different raids right because everyone's doing the top three raids right now and the earlier ones just are completely ignored what this will do is Bring those other raids like Apophis back into contention and allow you to do it. I get the idea, but removing the content, is it such a good idea? I'm not quite sure. I mean, the raids in general only took about, what, five, six, seven minutes if you beat all three of them on one hit. So they're not that long. And maybe the raids are actually going to get a bit more difficult and a bit more mechanics. And they did talk about um, changing the invincibilities parameters of characters when they're immune when they're using their discharge we'll see how it works out now joint operations are also getting a rework we know this we've seen this if you've seen my previous videos definitely go check those out for a more in-depth but now you can play one joint operation so they're kind of like creating a playlist and that playlist will allow you to always find people to do your stuff this will change every day and you can choose what kind of equipment you want so currently I stream Mondays and Fridays and I barely, I basically can't do any joint operations because the joint operations I want are on Tuesday and Thursday. They're the ones that I need. This will change that. This will allow me to specifically target a certain piece I want or an element that I want. And then that means I can go in any day of the week and do these. Something else that they're adding, they're increasing the drop rate, of course, that's a given. But what they're also adding is a random daily bonus like Haboella Matrix Fragments or Scylla Fragments to the actual pool. So when you complete the actual joint operation, you will get two matrices. Now, whether this is for every chest or for the actual completion of it is unknown. Now, if it's for the completion of it and you get this anyway for force opening, that would be great because you can just spam it. I suspect it's going to be for opening it with VIT. This will also make it completely and utterly pointless for having the earlier two chests because no one's going to do that because they want to maximize and speed up the process of getting these Haboella fragments because you need a hundred of them and you get two each time. So if you've got 180 VIT, you're going to want to be using all of that on the last chest so you can get 12 fragments a day. That's just my view on that. Um, I really want to see how this is going to play out because... It can be a good and a not so good thing at the same time. I'm keeping an open mind. And yeah, let me know what you think about that one in the comment section below. Because I don't actually know how it plays out on CN. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Again, that's all on the 11th of May. Uh, we're getting titanium gear. Now this allows you to augment the fortress equipment that you have. 
into a Titan outfit, increasing the characteristics of the armor while spending special resources on it. Now for the Titan armor, augmentation allows you to change the appearance of the equipment and improve its characteristics, spending special materials for this, like we just said. At the first augmentation, the equipment of the fortress will turn into augmented equipment. So once it's turned into augmented equipment, further augmentation of already upgraded gear will have a chance to turn it into Titan gear. Guaranteed transformation into Titan equipment occurs after 120 augmentations. So there is a cap to how many augments you can do before it actually changes. So if you're unlucky, you're going to go all the way to 120. If you're lucky, you could get it on your first augment, which is pretty cool. Now, in regards to the armor augmentation materials, these cannot be purchased in any store. These are not pay to win. However, they can be obtained from events and activities that are available to all players. Now, my concern here is when they say these will be in activities, is it going to be in something like Sequential Bygone where you have to get to a certain percent, you know, a certain score in order to get it? If it is, to me, that is still pay to win. Even though you can't buy it in the store, those that have been wailing out will be getting these a lot faster. Simply put, the average player is not going to hit 3200. They're just not. But it'll be interesting to see where they put these in. Maybe there'll be like a weekly requirement that you'll have to do, say, five joint operations, three uh, frontier clashes or five frontier clashes, five void rifts, maybe some wormhole, uh, whatever it is. Maybe they're going to add those sorts of requirements weekly for you to actually get these materials. I hope it's something like that and not just requiring on your brute force because in the end, this game is, you know, a gacha game so the more you invest financially the more you're going to get out of it so there is that so for version 2.5 the sound of the sea the main event will be released on may 11th on launch with the new version update it will last until the 27th of june now take this as you will but to me that's pretty much confirming or at least semi-confirming that 3.0 will be landing by the end of june so for those of you looking forward to an actual release date that is a good point to actually go for and be excited for because that's a long time for a single event during the event seven task tabs will be available divided into two categories treasure search like we've had previously in the deep sea and challenger to do this so it's the stuff that we had previously and i'm happy that they're actually bringing these back because i really really enjoyed completing these it gave me something to do on a daily basis bit by bit and it was quite enjoyable complete these and get good rewards for it among the rewards of this event are fragments of the azure heart and coral lace i assume these are going to be the final pieces we need in order to complete what is the skin now it isn't known how many of these fragments are actually required but they do say that extra fragments of the azure heart and the coral lace can be dismantled into dark crystals which is very very nice i don't know how many dark crystals it's going to give that information is not yet privy but the fact that you know if you are doing the events now and getting all the stuff if you have a surplus that stuff will be converted into dark crystal really nice i actually like that now in terms of the event rewards for this we'll be getting as we've already said five as your heart and coral lace fragments you'll be getting 1000 dark crystal would it be nice if it was 1500 you'll be getting one special voucher 1000 mirror 1200 gold dust three gold chips five purple chips and of course 20 fragments there is an avatar frame as well but that's kind of like given to you on the side now if we look at the main website there are actual changes to the raid as well so we've got the raid adjustment here there will be one random challenge instance available every week as we've discussed clear the instance once in heroic or challenging difficulty so there'll be two i guess to claim all rewards challenging i suspect is even higher than heroic and will be more difficult which are no less than the total weekly raid rewards before the adjustment Please note, if you have unused space orientators, they will be converted to other resources after the version update. Details are shown below. Details for these are on screen right now, but as you can see, the higher the grade of the space orientator, the more rewards you get. But essentially, they're just crystal fragments, crystal dust, and universal component parts and stuff like that.
Uh, the new season of Bygone Phantasm Boundless Realm is about to start. Bygone Phantasm and Boundless Realm will be temporarily closed after version 2.5 update and they will become available on May 12th. The season tally is May 12th, that's when it's going to start and the leaderboards rewards will be issued after that tally. Of course, for those of you that are doing Origin of War that have not yet finished, like myself, the current season tally is May 11th. You kind of need to get it done before May 11th at midnight server time. And the leaderboard rewards will be issued after the tally. The new season will begin on May 12th. So that is basically what they have said on their website. We also have finally a little more information for those of you that have basically played the game and then left and are thinking of coming back. Well, they're going to do like a welcome back campaign. There will be an event for returning players sleep after parting with a ton of rewards, including fortress outfits, loads of red nucleus and others. Also returning players and new players will be able to quickly upgrade their weapons to level 120 using the materials received from the event. The equipment augmentation to Titan gear will be available from character level 80 onwards. In version 2.5, only the glove will be available for augmentation and the micro reactor. So if you've got your gloves, make sure you maximize them in terms of level and your micro reactor. I actually thought there'd be four pieces because that's how it was in CN from what I remember, but it's going to only be two pieces, the gloves and the micro reactor. So make sure you've got those leveled up because they're going to be the ones you want to invest in and hopefully you've got some good gear try to get at least you know around 800 to a thousand uh stats on the one that you want because that's going to be what you're trying to push and that is that let me know what you think in the comment section below lots of information a preliminary release date for 3.0 being the 27th of june based on the dates we have now i mean that's kind of making sense especially if 2.5 and 2.6 are being merged we're getting over a month about six weeks which is just about right we're going to get a new area in 2.5 as well for us to go and collect some you know stuff and get progress there as well so all in all good stuff i hope you've enjoyed this video i know i've been away for a little while but i hope this makes up for it let me know what you think i'll see you in the next video remain legend